Okay, so today I want to talk about this Vizio LCD TV. It's a 37 inch, the model VW37L HD TV 40A. The main board is part number 3637 0332 0150. The power supply is part number 0500. 0507 0590. So I wanted to start with the set off. I was going to give you voltages of the connector from the power supply to the main board, starting with pin 1. Uh, effectively, 0 volts, pin 1 is labeled power supply on. Pin 2, 3, and 4 are all 12 volts. 2, 3, 4. Pin 5. There's no uh, wire there, but it's a ground. Five, six, seven, and eight are all grounds. Now pin nine is five volts standby. You should have that five volts there even when the set is off. If you do not have five volts there, then you have a power supply failure. So all pins nine, 10, and 11 are all five volts standby. Uh, pin 12 is the backlight level control and pin 13 is the backlight on off control so let me turn the TV on and we'll measure those voltages one more time with the set on and running alright there's pin 1 that is the power supply on command 3.2 volts so 3.3 now we should have 12 volts on pins 2 3 and 4 we do pin 5 six, seven, and eight are all ground. Should still have five volts on the five volt standby, and that's pin nine, 10, and 11. And now on pin 12, we have 3.4 volts, which means the backlight is in its high position. If you were to turn the backlight down, you'd see this voltage go down. And then on pin 13 is the inverter on off control, and it's high now, it's got four volts on it. If that voltage is low, then it's not turning your inverter on. So if you have no backlight, uh, look at this line especially, pin number 13 from the power supply. Okay, so next I'm going to look at the connector coming from the keypad and the remote control as well as the uh, Vizio logo white and amber LEDs. And the first two pins are pin number one, which is labeled amber, which is the amber LED. Pin number two is the white LED, and those voltages will change as you turn the set on and off. I'm not going to get too much into that detail. Pin number three is labeled five volts as well as, well as pin number four is five volts. Now pin number five is the infrared remote control. So as I press the remote button you can see the voltage jump around there and that's what you want to see indicating that re the remote receiver is working. Pin number six and pin number seven should both be effectively ground, and they are. Uh, pin number eight is a key scan line, and so as I press various buttons on the uh, keypad, the physical buttons, you can see uh, some volt, some uh, keys make a difference. Now there's two key scan lines, eight and nine are both key scan lines. So as I press source, you can see it goes to 0.466 volts. Uh, the left button, the right button, the channel up and down, volume up and downs have no effect. But the menu button brings up 1.382 volts, as well as the power button takes it to 2.314 volts. And that's on uh, key scan uh, 1, which is pin 8. Now if I go to key scan number 2, which is pin 9, the buttons that do have effect are the other ones, which are labeled up, down, right and left which are effectively volume and channel buttons and then the final pin pin number 10 is the 3.3 volt supply to the key scan line now let's look let's look at some voltages on the powers on the main board on the little IC regulators next okay so there's not a terribly lot of stuff to look at here I thought I would look at the LVDS power supply 12 volts so it should be uh, usually the first three or four pins. Actually, it's labeled pin 30, 29, and 28. All have 
12 volts. The next two pins are 0 volts. And then the rest of these pins are the data lines to the LCD panel. And I, at the other video, I just looked at them for a split second. There was about 1.2, 1.3 volts on them. So you can go back and look at these lines and just see if you have a video problem. Just look to see that you have this voltage to begin with. If it's if it's low or if it's non-existent on only some of the pins, uh, it depends on the data stream as to what you'll read with your voltmeter. Really need an oscilloscope uh, to see the uh, data correctly. But if your data was low and you unplugged the uh, LVDS cable from the uh, LCD panel at the timing controller board and the voltage changed drastically, you could assume that you might have a short so um, I'm only looking at half of the circuit board right now and there's only a couple little IC regulators that we can check on here. Uh, first we'll start with U2 up here. This will be the adjustment pin, 2.05 volts. This is the output pin, 3.3. Input pin, 5 volts. Next tuck down here is U8. We'll start with the adjustment pin, 0. The output pin has 1.259 or 1.2 volts. Input has about 2.5 volts on it. Next for this larger regulator, uh, input pin has 5 volts. The adjust pin has 1.2. And then the output pin has 2.5. Uh, next we'll go over to this one over here labeled U7. Adjustment 2.065. Output 3.321. Input 5.06. Let me move the camera over to the other side of the board and we'll look at those. Okay, so over here on this side of the board, we don't have much. This is the audio amplifier circuit right here. These are the leads to the speakers. Um, let me see what they should have. We've got about 6 volts on the uh, outputs to the speakers here, which is why you don't want to ever hook your speakers to common ground. Uh, incidentally, everybody always asks, my meter is always on common ground unless otherwise specified. In fact, this is my ground clip right here. I just clipped it onto one of the grounds of one of the jacks because they're always at common ground. The only other regulator we can look at is right here. This is an old school analog regulator. 12 volts on the input, ground on the center pin and 5 volts on the output. It's labeled U11. Okay, so there's our setup and working. I just wanted to show you this uh, real quick uh, troubleshooting. In case you're having a problem with your set, you can go off these voltages. Did want to show you how to get into the factory mode if you ever wanted to make any adjustments. I haven't messed around with it a lot, but on this particular model, uh, just using the original Vizio remote with the menu button, just press menu. Over on the right hand side of the TV, you'll find the keys. Simultaneously press the volume down and the input button at the same time. You'll get into what's called version info. It talks about the firmware. Uh, I don't really think you can change anything in this screen. Uh, you can go and you can do some adjustments in here as well. You can do your red, green, and blue offsets. If your color's not balanced correctly, you can get in there and correct it. It does have some options for audio. Talks about scanning different channels. If you wanted to uh, use it in a different application, didn't want to scan all your channels. And then, of course, you can do a full reset, which is what I'm going to do right now. There you go. There's always a possibility you're going to work. There we go, I just reset everything in the TV. I appreciate your views and your support. I try to answer as many questions as I possibly can. Thanks for watching, and with your help, we can keep these things out of the recycle bin, out of the landfill. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, NoraCal715. Everybody have a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.